What's up? Isaac Hoffman Hikes here with you from Hummingbird Wall. Ah, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little hiking and a little climbing. Please stay tuned for more. Please like and subscribe and check my channel for more videos. So the thing about hiking around here is you basically just hike up the highway and find yourself a trail. Please walk on marked trails and watch out for the traffic as you can see. So my general rule of thumb when hiking up a highway like this in a national forest is don't be afraid to use the road, but also don't forget to use your senses and that's your hearing. When you hear a car, get off the road, turn to the car, make sure you can see which way it's coming and wait for it to pass. Safety third. Cheers. We just reached the turnout to Hummingbird Wall. What do you say? That's like a climber's quarter mile up here from, <laughs> from the 8,000 foot mark. Yeah, we'll call it. It's about a climber's quarter mile until you get to the turnout in which uh, you can park for Hummingbird Wall if you're just coming up for the day uh, and not camping. It's pretty big spot. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, this is probably from them doing it. Yeah. So here is the turnout for Hummingbird Wall. Looks like we got a climber here. Oh yeah. Walk up just a little ways to those tall rocks and That'll take you to Hummingbird Wall. Ah, uh, yeah, here we are on the approach to Hummingbird Wall. Ah, uh, yeah. If you're up here and you're here for just a hike, please try to keep your voice down because there are climbers here. And when you climb, you need to communicate with a partner down below that could be 100 feet below you. So just a rule of thumb when you're hiking around climbing areas, uh, to keep your voice down and uh, keep your music to a low roar if you have it at all. Thank you. Boom, there's the road where we started. The approach is pretty steep. So know before you go and come prepared. Hey, how's it? Isaac Hoffman hikes. Up here at about 8,500 feet. When climbing and hiking around Chipmunk Flat and Hummingbird Wall area up Highway 108, a lot of this is class five scramble stuff just to get up to the climbing area and to hike up to some of these uh, really cool spots. So what you wanna do when coming up here is make sure you can handle those types of climbs before you come up here. Check this out, I'm gonna do one with my bag. This is the approach to Hummingbird Wall. So this is just an example of kind of how steep it is just to get up to the climb.
Yeah. I hope you have the passion of adventure to check this out. What's up? We're here with Isaac Hoffman from Isaac Hoffman Hikes and he's going to give us a little recap of climbing up uh, Sonora Pass on Hummingbird Wall. What's, what's up Isaac? How was climbing up there? Oh man, these climbs up there are spicy. That was right there. You just saw my first attempt and I fell on my first attempt uh, because I took my eyes off of what I was focused on. And um, up here, there's really um, sparse holds, I would call them, and they're short knobs, so it's hard to get a good positive grip. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. Um, I hope you didn't hurt yourself, man. Uh, was this your second attempt? How did your second attempt go, dude? So, yeah, my second attempt, I actually had to uh, retreat on again. I didn't get it on my second attempt either. I had to retreat back and um, this is me jumping off and man, it sounds like I crunched and broke my ankle into a million pieces, um, but it's just me hitting uh, my rope tarp and hitting a uh, root underneath that. There's a gnarly root underneath that. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. I hope your ankle's all right, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Um, we cleared that out of the way so we could see it. And um, this climb took me three attempts. I got it on my third try. Um, this is only a 5.9. Um, but man, the guys uh, that climbed and made these climbs up here, um, I give it to them, man, definitely, because uh, the, the grading is stiff, definitely. Man, so like, how would you rate uh, the climbing up here uh, um, in Hummingbird Wall, dude? How 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 how'd it go, dude? Um, in all, it went great. Um, I loved it, dude. I would recommend this climbing uh, to to everyone. Um, I would say um, at least uh, be a five nine climber to come up here, um, but don't let that. Um, don't let that hold you back from at least uh, coming up here and scouting them. You know what I mean? You could always come up here for the hike, definitely. Um, and that's why I like to do this video, too, because you can also hike up here. Yeah, man, I love your videos, dude. Yeah, they're sweet, dude. Um, so is there anything else you got before you go, man, and we wrap this up, dude? Yeah, um, here in a sec on the video, I'm going to give a little how-to on how to lower a uh, climber through the uh, rappel loops. Uh, on a climb. It's a simple, easy process, and uh, when you're top roping up um, and you're cleaning an anchor and you have rappel loops, it's an easy way to be lowered so you don't have to uh, uh, rappel yourself. Oh, dude, thanks. Right on. Yeah, dude, like I'll stay tuned for that for sure. And hey, everyone out there, make sure you stay tuned for that because it's going to be the bomb diggity, bro. Like so informative, dude. Uh, right on, Isaac. Thank you for your time, bro. And um, uh, I can't wait to hear back from you, man. Yeah, for sure, dude. Uh, take it easy, man. Late. filthy thing full of bushes and I start screaming and yelling at him <laughs> and he gets down there and says did you do the track? yeah he says I told you the track is only for protection it's a face climb <laughs> I mean all this climbing weird <laughs> trying to make it a crack <laughs> Rope, nice. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> okay. We have top roped to the top of the climb. 
And what we want to do is we want to set up our rope through these loops right here. And I technically should not have these through my loop. I should have them through both anchors. Uh, so that was my fault. But just duly noted, your anchor always comes off these two top bolts. And what we want to do now is clean up all this stuff safely, put it on our self, put this rope through these rappel loops right here, and have the belayer lower you on that right there. So I've come up and I'm at a very safe ledge. I know I am above my anchor point, which you never want to do. But in this case, it was safe because there was a huge ledge that you can stand on. I'm a very situational climber, and so that's how I choose to climb. This is safe for me. So now, before I even got up on this ledge, I put in this personal protection anchor. That way, you can take me off belay, and I can be up here by myself, super safe. Now you want this to go to your top anchor port right there, okay? That way when you set up your rope for a rappel, it doesn't get in the way of this right here. So what I'm gonna do now that I have my personal protection in, is I'm going to take apart the anchor, make sure all that stuff gets back to me and on my person. Then I'm going to undo the rope from my harness. I can do this because I have my personal protection in. I'm going to undo this. I'm going to put it through these loops right here and then simply tie it back in just the same way you tied in uh, down there uh, to climb with a figure eight follow through stop or not on top. So I'll come back to you in a sec once I have this anchor cleaned up and my rope tied in. Okay, here we are again at the top of our climb. Okay, I've just top roped up this climb. Okay, I put my personal protection in right off the bat and I undid my anchor to get my rope through the belay loops, sorry, through the rappel loops to have my belayer lower me on. Now, what you wanna do, like I was saying, is clean these. Take your anchor away from them, okay? And you want these loose. This is what you're going to be being lowered on, okay? And before you untie your rope fully from yourself, what you want to do is you want to come over here to a part in the rope and tie a figure eight uh, on a bite right here and clip this to yourself, okay? This will help you when you untie right here not to drop your rope. You always want to be redundant when climbing. So I'll come back here in a sec and I'll have this rope through my uh, lowering loops and I'll be ready to lower. So literally you put it through, all right? I'm gonna put it through, all right? And tie it back into yourself now, okay? Key steps, all right? First, personal protection. Second, make sure you tie off your rope to yourself. Third, undo your anchor. Fourth, make sure you tie the rope in to be lowered. And then, tie it into yourself. Sorry about the angles here, people. Here's a beautiful shot of this area we're climbing at. That is Highway 108. All right, we are back up here at the top of our climb. All right. I got my rope through my lowering loops. I've got it tied back to myself with the figure eight stopper knot. Do not take off your personal protection right here until you have communicated with your belayer down there to take rope. So now what I'm going to do is tell them to take rope. They will tighten this rope up. Boom. I will be on 
repel or lowering, sorry, I will be lowering from these repel loops. Uh, forgive the verbiage. But once she has me tight, then I will take off my personal protection and only then. Boom. Cheers, guys. Hope you guys have fun climbing. Check out Hummingbird Wall. Check this climb out. This is 5'8", five, 5'9"-ish. Five, to all of me knob climbing. Thanks for joining us. Remember to like and subscribe.